Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Um, just uh, sitting here on my lunch break and I was working on something and I wasn't going to create a video on it because I don't know how many people will find it useful, but um, I decided, what the heck, why not? Um, it's not up to me to decide whether somebody thinks something's useful, that's up to you. So, I figured I would just kind of go over what I was working on. Um, I have said in several other videos before um, that I'm not against installing other people's programs per se um, I, you know I use plenty of other people's programs that's not an issue um, but what I do like to do is if there's something I want even though there's programs out there that I could just download and install and use um, to kind of get a feel for how things are done I try to create something that I can use to serve my purpose before installing something um, and that's kind of what I've done here and granted it's not as full featured as something you're gonna get um, that somebody spend a bunch of time working on um, but it does work for my purposes um, I am gonna expand on it a little bit um, I'll kind of go into detail on that in a minute here when I start going over it but um, I am gonna expand on it a little bit this is just the starter pack if you uh, if you will um, just uh, <clears throat> getting it off the ground and uh, up and running on my system so that way I can uh, use it and uh, uh, make use of it and basically what it is is it's really just a simple scheduler uh, date book uh, to-do list whatever you want to call it it's just a simple way for me to track my appointments throughout the week throughout the day um, and be able to just quick input an appointment and know what's going on in my system and then um, just easy access to check it and so what I've got going on here is just a really short bash script um, that basically allows me to input a date a time and what's going on and then store it on my system in a file and then if I need to access that file to see what I've got going on for the day um, then I can do that as well so basically what we've got here is just a short little bash script like I said um, it runs figlet first just because I, li <laughs> I like to get a little bit fancy in my terminal you've, you've seen my last uh, if you saw my last video on terminal decoration I you know I, I like having some color and I like having some graphic and stuff like that so I'm running figlet again um, just to kind of give me a header on it um, and it just says to do because this is kind of like my to-do list um, I was using CalCurse. Um, I'll probably eventually, once I get this thing up and completely going how I want it, I'm as long as things go well, I'm gonna just stop using CalCurse. Um, but that's kind of what I use right now. But uh, basically, what this is, like I said, I run Figlet um, off the get-go. Let's, let's zoom in here real quick. Um, oh shoot, which terminal am I in? There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I've got too much crap on my system. I gotta sit and think about it for a minute. Which, which terminal I'm running? Even though I know it says it right there. Um, anyway, uh, so it's a bit, it's a bash script. You can see right here, it's got the shebang up top for the bin bash. Um, and what it does is it runs Figlet. Uh, the font is slant, and it just says to do, um, just to give me a little bit of a heads up. And what it's gonna do is that right here is it's gonna ask me if I am adding a new entry. So before I do anything, it's going to ask, are you adding a new entry? Um, and then it's going to wait for my input. Um, and as it waits, if my answer is yes, that I am adding a new entry, it's going to echo date. So it's going to prompt me for a date. Um, it's going to take my input for that date. Then it's going to ask me the time. And I'll input the time. And then it's going to ask me for the entry. What is it I actually want to put down? Like what's my appointment or, you know, what do I've got, what do I got going on? Then, once it does that, this line here says, if file home.localproject to do date, which would be this here, whatever date I put in, then it's going to print F, and this percent sign S, percent sign S, and everything, this is basically the layout I want everything in. So it's going to take my first argument, which is the date, my second argument, which is the time, it's going to put a colon, and then it's going to do a new line, and it's going to put my third argument, which is the entry, which is my last line here, and it is going to amend that to home.local.projects2do date, and then it's going to open that file up in Vim, so that way if I had a typo or anything like that, I can uh, fix it, and I can verify that 
the correct time and date and uh, everything were put in. Now, if this file doesn't already exist, what it's going to do is it's going to create that file and then basically run the same thing. It's going to print f um, my three arguments into that file that it just created right here and then it's going to open that in Vim and show me my file and so I can make sure everything's in there correctly. And then if I don't say yes, like if my answer is no, it's not a new entry, it's just going to flat out open this directory here with all my files um, of dates and that way I can pick which date I want to look at and open it and view what my appointments and stuff are for that day. Now I want to expand on this and so I'll probably have a few more videos on this script because I really like the script. I like the way it works. Um, again, um, it might not be for you, um, but I think it's it's kind of cool and it's just real simple. I don't have to put anybody else's stuff on my system. I just write out this bash script real quick and um, like I said, I'll do a couple more videos as I expand on this, but yeah. Um, so let me show you it in action. Let's uh, drop my uh, scratch pad here. Oh, which side note. Herbst Luft is one of my favorite window managers. Um, DWM and Xmonad are what I live in mostly, but if I had a third choice, Herbst Luft would be it. And the one thing stopping me from using Herbst Luft was the fact that I could not get a scratch pad working. But guess what? Oh, we got a scratch pad. So I finally figured it out. So you might see me using Herbst Luft a little more. Uh, just, uh, just a side note there. But let's, uh, let's clear the screen here. And we're going to run my schedule uh, script here, and we are going to input some dates here. I'm just going to kind of show you how it works. So we run schedule.sh. Let me zoom in. There we go. We're going to run schedule.sh, and it's going to say to do. That's my to do list. So now it's going to ask me if it's a new entry or not. Um, we'll say yes for this. We'll hit enter, and now it's going to ask me for the date, so we'll do November uh, 25th. We'll hit enter, it's going to ask me the time, we'll do 5 o'clock p.m. Enter, and I'm going to put test for video. And we're going to hit enter. And there. Now, if we look down here, we're in home.local projects to do November 25th. And this is my entry. I've got November 25th, 5 p.m., test for video. So then we write and quit. That's good. Now, say I want to put in another one. So let's run it again. We're going to run sh. Actually, let's stop that. Let's clear the screen. We'll run it again. New entry. We'll do yes. Now we're going to say November 28th. We're going to hit enter. We're going to say 4 o'clock. Entry. And we'll say second test for video. Now you can see down here we've got home.local projects to do November 28th. So this is a completely different file um, for this stuff, but we got up here November 28th, 4 p.m., second test for video. So then we write and quit. Now let's clear the screen, let's run it one more time. Is this a new entry? And well, let's put one back on, let's do another one, and we'll do November 25th again, and we'll say 6 o'clock. And then we'll do third test for video. We'll hit enter. And now you can see we've got November 25th. We drop down a couple lines so they're spaced nicely. And we have November 25th, 6 p.m. Oh, I didn't put the p.m. that time, but uh, 6 o'clock, third test for video. And we write and quit. Now, if I don't have a new entry, let's clear the screen again. And we'll run schedule.sh again. And new entry will say no. What it does is now you can see I created a couple here when I was just testing the script out. But now it shows me I've got a new directory listing and I have November 19th, I've got November 23rd, I've got November 25th, and I've got November 28th. So which day do I want to go to? Let's go to the 28th. We hit enter on that. Oh, look at that. Second test for video, November 28th. Now we quit out of there. And so that's just kind of it. Um, I want to add, I'm going to add notify send. Uh, um, notifications on there so that way it's gonna it'll I'll run a cron job for it to kind of run that script and pull the file and then just pipe out and notify send uh, what appointments I have coming up for the day or the next day or something I haven't figured it out how exactly I want to do it maybe I'll have it so I can uh, change it or whatever but yeah, that's just kind of what I got working on there um, I just thought it was kind of cool I like I said I use CalCurse right now kind of but for me sometimes 
even simple apps or simple programs kind of do too much. Um, I just wanted something that I could just punch in real quick and get something on my system, store it somewhere where I could see it and access it easily. I don't need a picture of the calendar. I don't need, um, I just don't need a bunch of stuff. I just wanted something super simple. So that was kind of, uh, what I came up with. So let's we'll go back over the script again real quick. Um, basically, it runs Figlet. So if you don't have Figlet on your system, you need to install it. Um, it's in the Arch repository and the app and everything like that. So it should be real simple to get on your system. Um, then it's going to echo if I want a new entry or not. It's going to take my answer. If the answer is yes, then it's going to ask me for a date, a time, and an entry. Uh, once I input those, it's going to check to see if a file exists for that date that I entered here. If a file does exist, then it's going to printf all three of these into, and it's going to amend them to this file, and then it's going to open that file so I can verify everything's correct. Um, if this file does not exist, it's going to create it, and then it's going to add all three of my uh, arguments here, or my inputs here into that file and then it's going to open Vim, open that file on Vim so I can verify it's correct. And if I say no, I do not have a new entry, it's going to just open that directory with all the different dates I have and all the different files so I can decide what day I want to look at and see what I've got going on. So yeah, that's kind of it. Um, like I said, it's real simple. Um, it's not anything spectacular, but I just like things that are simple and work. Um, so if you like it, great. Um, like I said, I'm going to be adding more to it um, because I really think this is something I'm going to get some use out of. And so I want to make it, um, I don't want to get crazy and carried away with it because that's the whole reason I'm not using other stuff because I don't need a million different things. But I do want to add notification support on it so that way it'll notify me when I have appointments coming up. But uh, other than that, um, it's kind of cool. So yeah, if you like this, found it interesting, interesting great. Um, if you don't, <laughs> you know, I guess, say la vie. That's, uh, that's life sometimes, I guess. Not everybody's going to like what you do. So um, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for checking out the channel. If you're new, uh, welcome. And I hope you all have a great weekend. Um, I'm thinking probably tomorrow or Sunday I will have another video coming out. Um, so, yeah, just keep watching. So I appreciate your time. Uh, you guys have a great weekend. God bless.